Shall we begin? Right, hi there, welcome. Uh, inbox review. Now, this is an old kit. Uh, I picked this up off, off eBay for a very sensible uh, $24.99 with three postage and packing, which I was quite chuffed about. Now, like I say, it is an old kit, it's an old dragon kit, and this is the 135th scale M1A1. Uh, mine plow. This is a Desert Storm one, and you might have guessed this will be going into the Steve Mockdrum uh, Gulf War build. Uh, not a great deal on the box, just a few pictures showing you not like their normal ones, and it is a full box. Right, this was actually knocked out in 1992, so it's an old kit. But I'm still going to do a, uh, a review on it, because they're still out there. Now, I picked this up off eBay, and as you can see, it came with a few extra bits and pieces. It came with a, a little book from 1982 to 1992, and it is just a little book on the Abrams and the nice thing about it it's actually got some markings up uh, for this particular vehicle so I think I might be using that as a, a center reference point uh, it also came with a piece of PE right and what do we get in the box well we'll kick off with we've got the destruction manual and that is the most unusual thing I've ever seen well, one two three bits of blue on the destructions right as you can see it's quite a full box we have one uh, and if you notice on this one this is an old kit but everything is individually wrapped each sprue is individually wrapped. Well, except for we've got the lower and the upper hole there. And saying that, well, no, it's still the same, look. And we've got the two sprues exactly the same in one box. And the lower hole. And that is it. That is everything from the box. Right, we'll put all them to one side. put them down there out of the way and we'll start with the destructions uh, we'll quickly run through them I did forget to tell you that the as it's clearly put there the kit number is 3516 so pamphlet form <coughs> excuse me uh, colour call out uh, hobby colour, Mr. Colour, Insulary Paints, no. Okay. So, stage one, by the look of it, putting some storage bins at the rear together. I don't really know because I don't really know a lot about the Abrams. Uh, lower hull assembly, there is a, a, a driver's compartment. Uh, upper hull, side skirts, there's not a great deal in this particular kit, but we're up to about 9, 10 steps. Two part barrel, which is a little bit upsetting, but I have a aftermarket barrel for, for one of these, which I picked up very cheap off eBay a while ago and it was just one of them things I just picked up I thought well it might come in useful the construction of the mine plow and then the upper and lower together there's not a great deal of build work in this one and on the back we have the US Army 2nd Cavalry 
and also uh, US Army 1st Cavalry. So I've got two choices there on colours and who I'm going to make it out to. So that's the destructions, short and sweet. What I should do now is uh, I'll drop the camera down and we'll get a look at these parts. Okay, we're going to kick off looking at the parts. We're going to look up, start with the turret. Now, there is fine texturing of non slip surface over the top there, uh, which looks pretty good actually. Uh, the lower half, uh, it all looks good. Injector mark pins on the inside. Uh, the one piece barrel. We don't know how that's going to go together, but like I say, I have actually got one. I picked one up at uh, an extremely stupid price off eBay quite a while ago. Moving on. Uh, there's not a great deal to shout about. They're just typical dragon parts, nice and clean, there's no flash, there's really nothing to uh, actually say about them I don't think. All nicely detailed. I mean, for an old kit, uh, it's surprisingly well engineered. Mind you, this is what Dragon was renowned for. Seats. It's even got the bits and pieces on the driver's dash. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. This, uh, it's a uh, a nice little kit. As so far, how it goes together, that is a different matter. Uh, the upper hull, you can just see the texture in, in the places it should have. Well, I'm hoping it's in the places it should be. But no flash, nicely moulded, nicely detailed. The grills look nice. What more could a modeler ask for? Uh, a lot cheaper prices on the kits, so that would be one good thing. Right, we're moving on. This sprue contains all the mine plough bits and pieces. And like I say, there's no flash. It's all well detailed. There's not really a great deal I can actually say about it. Uh, I'm just sort of ab libbing now as we go through. very nice and clean and I am looking forward to building this there's not many sprues, we'll have a quick look at the tub once the camera decides fixed uh, suspension which just makes it nice and easy to do it nothing uh, to scream and shout about uh, a plastic tub uh, nice and solid there's a couple of uh, bits there that are going to be need to be taken off but besides that okay it's okay now there's two of these uh, and these are the tracks they're Lincoln length I've never done Dragon Lincoln length before so I can't comment on them but they look really nice uh, the wheels are nicely detailed all the parts are clean. Uh, the only thing I have noticed there's injector mark pins on these. Uh, I think it's going to be up to individual choice if you fill them or not. I will probably offer them up, see what's going to be seen, and I'm going to be really lazy and just do what's seen. Uh, I ain't going to go too mad and if they're not really noticeable I don't think I'll fill them but there you go we'll see when we actually start building the actual kit and like I say there was two of them sprues 
take that one out. Uh, two of them spoons exactly the same. So, and the final sprue. Uh, once the camera focuses back in again, uh, side skirts, uh, vents for the engine at the back, all nicely done, all nicely moulded. Have no complaints at all. Uh, no, I have got no complaints over any of it. I'm not even going to moan about the price on this one. Uh, lastly, but not least, is there's a little bag with a little tiny bit of chain in. Uh, I don't quite know where that's for yet. And decals, decals, transfers or stickers, whichever you would like to call them, is fine by me. Uh, they're old ones. There's quite a lot of carrier film on there, as you can see. Uh, we'll see how they go. It might be the only thing I might have to uh, do a purchase. It's some aftermarket ones, but uh, we'll see how they go. If they go on okay, I shall put them on. Uh, that's about all I can say. So that's it for the Abrams. Thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.